Overlooking Queenstown and the Wakatipu Basin, Coronet Peak has long been the epicentre of alpine skiing in New Zealand. And for good reason. The terrain pitches and rolls with big steeps and long flats that require a precise blend of courage and skill to conquer. A cold, clear start greeted the first Super G held on NZ Snow since 2019. Perfect racing conditions and the legend Nils Koberger was setting the course. The hurdle you need to be technically sound, you need to find the outside ski, you need to try and carve that as much as possible. Any weaknesses in your technique will be found out in the hurdle because if you lean inside of your back seat you won't get grip, you'll get pushed low in the line, that'll kill the speed. I love New Zealand, it's like my second home. I like the atmosphere here, the people, and uh, everything is amazing. Adam Zampa was first out of the gate and his pedigree was clear from the off. He set an impressive target of 103.62. The middle of the three Zampa brothers held his nerve, but dropped off his elder sibling's time by nearly eight tenths of a second. Willis Fizi dropped third, and he skied like a man with no pressure or expectations. Riding is like he put in a very fast, if a little loose run, refusing to soften up. The course offered grip and speed all the way to the finish. Willis clocked in at 103.38, good enough for first place, for now. The youngest of the Zampa brothers, Teo, dropped seventh and proved that he too has alpine racing in his DNA. What he lacked in mass, he more than made up for with touch, driving fearlessly through the hurdle. He held his speed through the compression and down into the finish. 103.7 would see him claim third behind his elder brother Adam and hand the victory to a modest Willis Feasy. It was a really turny course, so I knew I was going to have to kind of fight and work for it. I kind of felt like I was in with a chance, but wasn't wasn't too sure until, yeah, saw the times. In the women's, there was one name on everyone's lips. Alice Robinson is widely considered to be a giant slalom specialist, but has been testing herself in Super G on the World Cup. I think it's going to be pretty challenging. It's quite a tough Super G slope. It's quite narrow and quite steep. Her strongest opposition today would be the Canadian Candace Crawford. Yeah, I think you just have to be really prepared and aware that there is a lot of terrain and be ready for it. Crawford was first to drop and looked incredibly settled for such a challenging course. Her poise and timing saw her make short work of the hurdle. One o five thirty three, reflecting her blistering pace. Slovakian Rebecca Jankova was leaning on the Zampa brothers for local knowledge, and it was clearly paying off. But she couldn't keep up with Crawford, and her one o six point four one was just over a second off. The following four skiers couldn't get close; all of them were over three seconds off Crawford. Then came Alice Robinson. On a softening course, the Kiwi had to battle for every ounce of speed she could milk from the course without losing control. It was an immensely powerful descent and Alice clocked a 105.65, 0.32 behind Crawford. Ava Sunshine is one of the brightest young stars on the US Alpine team and it was clear she wanted to have her say on the hill. Very quick run for the Californian saw her best Alice Robinson by just two hundredths to claim second behind Candace Crawford. It's really fun to be back up here racing and to see how many people were up here so excited about watching it too was really special. A challenging but ultimately successful day of Super G racing ends with two New Zealanders on the podium.